Coverage you can count on continues with a look at rezoning plans in Columbia County. Hannah Latier joins us now with this story. The closure of South Columbia Elementary and the opening of Westmont Elementary will impact five other elementary schools, and parents have mixed feelings about it. That's the first time actually that I heard about uh, this zoning uh, for a new school. So uh, basically, like, um, it's like we, we were kept in the dark. The school board has had three public presentations about the rezoning plan and will have a final one Tuesday night. Still, many parents I spoke to were not aware of it. Our initial reaction as parents like, what? So, but, but of course, um, we wanted the best for our kids. Like, we want to understand uh, what will be this, this arrangement, this, this new arrangement will be. And we wanted to know, of course, the details. And that's what we do not have right now. Some students in neighborhoods like Crawford Creek will be switching from Evans to Westmont Elementary. At first, I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but I've looked up the great schools rating and they seem to have really good ratings. So now we're just trying to be positive and get excited about it. Plus, it's a brand new school or it will be a brand new school. So we're excited. Other students that live along roads like Cutter Mill and Perry Mill Circle will be moving to Westmont from Brookwood Elementary. It breaks my heart, the thought of our first grader being pulled out of there and going somewhere else. She's, this is her third year there, it's all she knows. That was Kathleen Anderson, who didn't know about the rezoning possibility until Monday. We also spoke with Kim Crawford, who has two sons at Brookwood. I'm perfectly fine with it. I, I mean, I realize we're, we are, you know, we live in a heavily populated area and we're going to be um, continuously rezoned. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm okay with it. The school board will vote on the plan after its meeting tomorrow night.